The government never stops spending money just to prove some more handouts. My name's Eric. This is above my pay grade. Let's get into it. So, <clears throat> I'm out here in Astoria, Oregon. Uh, maybe if you've never been here, but if you've seen the Goonies, this is where their house is. Had the afternoon off. Drove all the way out of here to see, uh, see the Goonies house. And uh, it's a private residence and they are not into people. It's on this like private driveway and they won't let anybody up there anymore. So I couldn't even see it. But this is a kind of a cool Pacific Northwest coastal town here. Columbia River and the Pacific Ocean join together. Definitely kind of a cool vibe. But anyways, the <coughs> uh, house just passed. Excuse me. Uh, the House just passed another $55 billion stimulus package for restaurants. And uh, yes, restaurants have been hit hard by COVID. But uh, I was reading the other day of all of the things that people cut back on when times are tough and they need to tighten their belt. The number one can you guess? Yeah, it's eating out. And they are literally giving $55 billion. Half of these places are closed, as in not open. And they're <clears throat> handing the money anyways. All a symptom of a environment where money is made up and the rules don't matter. But more fun tax dollars at work. And I do want to say this. I hope this um, economic apocalypse um, human misery talk, this is depressing you. I want it, I want this to be light and fun, okay? Something that gives you a little pep in your step, makes you happy. So, don't let this kind of information get you down. Um, yeah, in other news, there was, um, I thought this was funny, um, <clears throat> in the continued effort to build back better, um, American Airlines is now using charter buses for connecting flights due to fuel prices and pilot shortages. <sighs> American bus lines, great stuff. I flew American on the way out here. And uh, <laughs> your connecting flight will be down at the street level. Can you, just, can you imagine that? Look at this. Super pretty. Just feel like kind of a pretty coastal town. You got, I don't know if you guys can see that on the background, mountains. And uh, big old cargo ships. Kind of cool. Check out this cool. It's a garbage can with a tuna advertisement on. It's kind of cool. I think I'm turning into an old person. I find stuff like that interesting. <laughs> uh, that's what my wife would say. I'm old now. Last thing I want to talk about. Um, with inflation, I read an article today about the money illusion fallacy. People were richer in 2021. They had more statistically in savings than they ever had. Side note, by the way, I don't know if you can hear that echo, but underneath this walkway I'm walking on. There's a bunch of seals down down there. Just hanging out. Just it's 
kind of hilarious. Um, <clears throat> sounds like your mom. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, the... This fallacy is people think of their money and when you don't have a good currency like the dollar people think of their money in nominal terms not in real terms so in other words they think of their money is in how many dollars they have not in their purchasing power and so yes people had a lot more money in because of stimmies and helicopter money and all that but How's that purchasing power a year later? Not so good. And in this article, it kind of reveals the obvious. Obviously, poor fam families are suffering from in inflation far more than wealthy ones are, because wealthy families have inflation hedges like property, stocks, and not a lot of their income goes to consumables like things that inflate like oil and food and, and other stuff check out this this view this is a pretty cool little city uh, a little chilly today but cool nonetheless again last thing guys this stuff depresses you I kind of you gotta laugh sometimes but uh, I'd rather be aware than keep my head in the sand but you kind of have to keep a positive mental attitude and if you know what's coming or at least you know the math and maybe you can uh, take steps to avoid the collateral damage on yourself but don't let this uh, economic destruction and human suffering talk get you down. Positive. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to walk around this town a little bit more. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.